Wilhelm Wundt was a German psychologist who discovered that psychology is a science. He was also the first person to perform a psychological experiment. Wundt was born in Nakaro, Germany on August 16, 1832. When he was four years old, he moved to Heidelsheim, Germany. In his time, it was very common for people to invest their wealth into education. From the year 1851 to 1856, he studied at the University of Heidelberg and the University of Berlin. In those years, he graduated as a doctor of medicine, then later joined the staff of the University of Heidelberg. He served as an assistant to the physicist and sociologist Hermann von Helmholtz. He was responsible for teaching the lab course in physiology. Later, in 1864, he turned into the associate professor for medical psychology and anthropology. He wrote a textbook about human physiology, but this was not his interest. According to his lectures, he far preferred the aspects of psychology. In 1863 to 1864, he had released a book about his lectures on psychology called Lectures on Human and Animal Psychology. Later, in 1874, he published his first ever textbook that related to the experimental psychology, Principles of Physiological Psychology. Today, he is often referred to as the founding father of modern psychology. His Psychological Influences He was influenced multiple times throughout his life. The first time was by Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz when he established his philosophy and theoretical psychology. This greatly influenced Wilhelm Wundt into following his intellectual path. Another time Wundt found influence was in 1874. Immanuel Kant, a German philosopher, had criticized Wundt's idea that all conscious processes could be measured the same exact way. At first, Wundt had remained assured that he was correct. However, later Wundt had admitted that the measurements he was taking could only be applied for more basic conscious processes. His approach to psychology. Wilhelm Wundt had two approaches to psychology. However, he mainly associated with the cognitive approach, which focuses on how we think and how our thought processes affect our behavior. This was because he felt eager to understand the cognitive features that make up psychophysical processes. He also focused on the behavioral neuroscience approach, which emphasizes that the brain and nervous system are central to understanding behavior, thought, and emotion. This was because he believed there was a physical aspect to understanding behavioral processes. His contribution to the approaches. He assisted the cognitive approach and behavioral neuroscience approach by creating his theory of apperception. Where apperception means entirely conscious perception, he theorized that there is an apperception center in the frontal cerebral cortex. He explained that it could link sensory, motor, autonomic, cognitive, emotional, and motivational processes. His theory was the key part in the creation of a psychologically oriented research program. This makes him an advocate for modern discovery about the cognitive and emotional processes in the prefrontal cerebral cortex. Important Research Experiments In 1879, Wilhelm Wundt had opened the first ever laboratory for psychology. The Institute for Experimental Psychology at the University of Leipzig had housed the first ever psychological experiment. Using this experiment, Wundt wished to discover how long it would take for subjects to make a judgment. This in turn could help him find what he believed to be the speed of thought. To do so, he gathered subjects and had them observe a pendulum swinging. He would measure the difference between the position they perceived the swing and the position of the actual swing. It was this very experiment that allowed him to discover that psychology is actually a science. In conclusion, Wilhelm Wundt, the founding father of modern psychology, is one of the greatest psychologists who ever lived. He studied his entire life to uncover the mysteries of the human mind. Even when people criticized his work, he took it constructively. His theory of apperception allowed for a psychologically oriented research program. He opened the first ever laboratory for psychology. He performed the first ever psychological experiment. And finally, he discovered that psychology is actually a science.